Well, if you had power issues overnight, you had plenty of company. A problem that started in Brooklyn triggered effects across the city and even Long Island and Westchester. CBS News' John Diaz joins us live from the Con Ed substation where the trouble began. John. Uh, yeah, well, Sydney, good morning to you. Let me tell you, this was a very brief powder, power outage, that's for sure. The president of Con Edison saying it really only lasted fractions of a second, he says. But this was a problematic one, and that is because it really impacted every single home across all of New York City, all five boroughs. Let's go there right here to this uh, video, though. Take a look here. Chopper 2 flying above earlier this morning, giving you an aerial view of this substation here the Farragut Electrical Substation in downtown Brooklyn where all this happened. But earlier this morning, you can see in this video as smoke billowed from this substation just after midnight last night. After this momentary power outage, uh, users across multiple social media platforms started to post similar videos of their lights either flickering or, you know, some even reporting internet outages. Many saying that they thought they heard a rumble when the power flickered. Uh, we have also learned that this caused issues to elevators citywide, including Grand Central and Penn Station, where elevators were stuck for, listen to this, around three hours. And there were multiple reports of people having to be rescued from stuck elevators. The president, Con Edison, saying that he heard up to 10 people having to be rescued. Uh, for example, we are also hearing about a security guard who was trapped inside an elevator uh, inside the Wegmans grocery store here in Brooklyn. Video shows members of the FDNY getting him out. One witness thinks that he was stuck in there for about an hour. Take a listen to, though, what the president of Con Edison had to say about all of this. Probably most of New York City saw this. A piece of high voltage electric equipment failed in this substation. Basically, it short circuited. Um, that caused a large flash. These are pretty infrequent events. Um, we have multiple redundant sets of transformers so that the lights stay on. If you have one of these, we actually have one of the most reliable electric systems in the United States. These are pretty rare occurrences, but they do happen every once in a while. Overnight and uh, confirmed here by the president, Con Edison. They're saying that uh, this was a fault on a high tension transmission line. They said the customer citywide, you know, may have experienced either a dip or surge in power at that time. Uh, but their crews are investigating and working to make necessary repairs. Again, we still do not know exactly what caused all this, but the president's saying that likely there really won't be any more issues as we head on into this day. But hopefully they get to the bottom of this sooner rather than later. For now, though, we are live this morning from downtown Brooklyn. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.